Hello students, welcome to my YouTube channel SG Education. Today we will see Class 8 Subject Science Chapter 19 Life Cycle of Stars Exercise Solutions So question 1 Search and you will find Question A Our galaxy is called fill in the blank Answer Our galaxy is called the Milky Way and Mandakini Question B for measuring large distances, fill in the blank is used as a unit. Answer. For measuring large distances, the light year is used as a unit. Question C. The speed of light is fill in the blank kilometer per second. Answer. The speed of light is 3 lakh kilometer per second. Question D. There are about fill in the blank stars in our galaxy answer there are about 100 billion stars in our galaxy question e the end stage of the sun will be fill in the blank answer the end stage of the sun will be a white dwarf question f stars are born out of fill in the blank clouds answer stars are born out of interstellar clouds question g milky way is a fill in the blank galaxy answer milky way is a spiral galaxy question h stars are gigantic spheres of fill in the blank gas answer stars are gigantic spheres of hot gas question i the masses of other stars are measured relative to the mass of the fill in the blank answer the masses of other stars are measured relative to the mass of the sun question j light takes fill in the blank to reach us from the sun while it takes fill in the blank to reach us from the moon answer light takes about 8 minutes to reach us from the sun while it takes about one second to reach us from the moon question k the larger the mass of a star the faster is its fill in the blank answer the larger the mass of a star the faster is its evolution question l the number of fuels used in the life of a star depends on its fill in the blank answer the number of fuels used in the life of a star depends on its mass now question 2 who is telling lies question a light year is used to measure time answer false light year is used to measure distance question b end stage of a star depends on its initial mass answer true question c a star ends its life as a neutron star when the pressure of its electrons balances its gravity. Answer false. A star ends its, its life as a neutron star when the pressure of its neutrons balances its gravity. Question D. Only light can emit from the black hole. Answer false. Not even light can be emitted by a black hole. Question E. The sun will pass through the supergiant stage during its evolution. Answer false. The sun will pass through the red giant stage during its evolution. Question E. Of the sun will end its life as a white dwarf. Answer true. Question 3. Answer the following question. Question A. How do stars form? Answer. There are huge clouds of gas and dust in the empty spaces between the stars in a galaxy. These clouds are called interstellar clouds. The size of an interstellar cloud is about a few light years. When an interstellar cloud starts contracting due to some disturbance. 
its density and temperature increase this results in formation of a dense sphere of hot gas and nuclear energy generation starts at the center of the star therefore the gas sphere becomes self luminous thus a star is formed that is a star is born a huge interstellar cloud can produce thousands of stars at a time question b why do stars evolve answer although stars appear stable for quite a long period of time their properties do change though very small very slowly a change in the properties of a star leading to its passing through different stages is called evolution of the star burning of the fuel at the center of the star and a gradual decrease in its amount is the main reason of evolution of star question c what are the three end stages of stars answer stars having initial mass less than 8 times the mass of the sun ultimately become white dwarfs stars having initial mass between 8 and 25 times the mass of the sun ultimately become neutron stars stars having initial mass larger than 25 times the mass of the sun ultimately turn into black holes question d why was the name black hole given answer when a star having initial mass larger than 25 times the mass of the sun reaches its end stage its gravitational force and density increase exponentially all nearby objects get attracted towards the star and nothing can come out of it not even light all incident light is absorbed by this star we can probably see a very minute black hole at its place hence the name is given as black hole question e which types of stars end their life as a neutron star answer stars having initial mass between 8 and 25 times the mass of the sun end up as neutron stars when these stars pass through the supergiant stage their size increases to 1000 times huge explosion that occurs in the last stage of these stars is very powerful and very high energy is given off after the huge explosion explosion called the supernova explosion their central portion contracts in size to about 10 km in this stage such stars are completely made up of neutrons and hence are called neutron stars question 4 if you are the sun write about your properties in your own words answer there are billions of stars in the galaxy called the milky way and mandakini i am one of the small stars called the sun i have my own family called the solar system there are planets satellites asteroids comets and meteors in my family my mass is 2 multiplied by multiplied by 10 to the power 30 kg which is about 3.3 lakh times that of the earth with a radius of 6 lakh 95700 km my size is about 100 times that of the earth my 
सरफेस टेम्परेचर इज अबाउट फाइव फाइल इट इज 1.5 पॉइंट फाइव मल्टीप्लाइड बाय टेन टू द पावर सेवन के एट द सेंटर सेवेंटी टू परसेंट ऑफ माई मास कंसिट्स ऑफ हाइड्रोजन वाइल ट्वेंटी सिक्स परसेंट कंसिट्स ऑफ हिलियम रेस टू परसेंट इज मेड अप ऑफ एलिमेंट्स हेवियर दैन हिलियम आई एम अबाउट फोर पॉइंट फाइव बिलियन ईयर्स ओल्ड एंड द साइंटिस्ट ऑन द अर्थ हैव कंक्लूडेड दैट not much change has taken place in my properties during this period according to the scientists in the end stage of my life i will turn into a red giant star thereafter i will first explode and then contract to become as small as the earth i will appear small as well as white and hence i will be called a white dwarf this will be my last stage for ever now question b describe white dwarf dwarfs answer depending on the initial mass stars can reach one of the three end stages white dwarf is one such stage of stars having initial mass less than 8 times the mass of the sun these stars undergo huge expansion and their radius increases by a factor of 100 to 200 these stars appear reddish because of their large size and lower temperature hence these stars are also called red giant stars at the end of their evolution these stars explode their outer gas envelope is thrown outward and the inner part contracts to the size of the earth however the density in the star becomes very high in this stage the pressure due to electrons becomes independent of temperature and sufficient to balance the gravitational force for ever in this stage such stars look white and due to their small size they are called white dwarfs our chapter 19 life cycle of stars exercise solutions are completed if you like this video then please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel sg education thank you